history of humanity is not evolution, as they are telling us, but cycle after cycle after cycle. Humanity rises, reaching its peaks, catastrophe happens, boom, you start from the beginning. So now with this project, we change our view of humanity and evolution. So really, the biggest discoveries are still in front of us. My name is Dr. Sam Osmanakic. I'm anthropology professor and my PhD, my doctorate, is about the Mayan pyramids in Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Belize and Mexico. And for the last 30 years I have been researching ancient civilizations and pyramids in particular. I have written 16 books which has been translated in 17 languages. And I have learned that almost everything they teach us about the pyramids is wrong. They are telling us they are built in Egypt and Mexico, but in reality, they have been built all around the planet. And secondly, for Egyptian pyramids, they are teaching us that they were built as tombs for pharaohs. But in all old Egyptian pyramids, no tombs, no mummies, no pharaohs. So we need to change our view of the pyramids. In 2005, I have discovered the first European pyramids in Bosnia. We named them the Bosnian Pyramids, and it has become the most active archaeological site in the world. And I have been running it for 12 years now. After more than 20 years of the pyramid research around the planet, I realized that the most pyramids are actually covered by soil and vegetation. Of course, we know about Egyptian pyramids at the Giza Plateau, but they are in the desert. No rain over there, no greenery. But if you go to Chinese province of Shanxi, 250 pyramids covered by soil. In Central America, tens of thousands of Mayan pyramids still covered by forests, jungles. So, in April of 2005, I first came to the little Bosnian town of Visoko, 40,000 inhabitants. Not because of the pyramids, but to visit the local museum. And then I saw what is behind me. People called it Natural Hill, but I was looking at it. It had four sides, four triangular faces, corners, the same slope from bottom to the top. I took compass and compass showed me that those four sides perfectly match cardinal points, east, west, north and south. And this is how the pyramids were built. So I immediately knew that we had an artificial structure covered by soil and vegetation. And this is how the project started back in 2005. The pyramids in the world are built by local materials. In Egypt, limestone and granite. In Peru, adobe bricks. In Guatemala, shaped volcanic stones. In Mexico, sandstone and granite. In Bosnia, the biggest pyramid, which is the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, is covered in concrete. For the concrete they use construction material from the tunnels. When they were building the tunnels they were removing a lot of pebbles, rocks and sand material which they used to make the concrete. They added water and melted clay as the binder. The second pyramid, the Bosnian Pyramid of the Moon, is built from the sandstone plates and clay as the construction material. So they were using the local materials. But considering the amount of the material, it is amazing. In order to build Great Pyramid of Egypt, builders used 5 million tons of material. 
but for the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, they needed 18 million tons of material. This is the biggest, the largest pyramid on the planet, with a height of over 220 meters, the Kelps 147. So that this is not only the first European pyramid complex, but the biggest pyramids on the planet. And I became aware that instead of natural hills, we have a huge pyramid complex. Five pyramids, the sun, moon, dragon, earth and love. I offered collaboration to the archaeologists at the University of Sarajevo. They refused it. I offered the same thing to the National Museum in Sarajevo. But they also said, well, there are no pharaohs in Bosnia, therefore we cannot have pyramids. Not very scientific approach. So, for April of 2006, we established non-profit foundation for archaeological digging. We got permission from the government. We got money, equipment, tools, experts. One month before we started digging, 23 leading Bosnian archaeologists, historians, geologists, and museum curators signed petition asking the government not to allow us to dig. Well, if we claim that in some remote Bosnian hills there are the pyramid structures one meter below the soil, the only way to find out is to dig. We had nothing to fear. We were spending our own money. But they had something to fear. They fear the change of history, history books, their PhDs and professorships, which were not good the way they were teaching kids was not good. So, we started digging in April, the Bosnian Prime Minister came, he saw the big blocks that we discovered, rectangular in shape, he said, wow, this is man-made concrete. He saw hundreds of people coming and visiting the, the place, he said, oh, this is good for Bosnian tourism and economy. Mr. Osmanagic, keep digging, and don't worry about the jealous sand. Unfortunately, over the course of 12 years, a lot of archaeologists, not only from Bosnia, from Croatia, from France, from Germany, United Kingdom, US, and finally Egypt, were writing petitions, writing against us, never come to the site to see what we really have. But they simply were afraid that the history will be changed in this little country of Bosnia, and the project is not run by the universities, museums, governments, the bodies that can be controlled, but by an independent, non-government, non-profit foundation, which we named the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation. But luckily, thousands of volunteers have come in the last few years, helping us to spread the truth about our ancient I am so proud of every one of you. And our good guys like Aydin and Tariq and they've been here for years now. They saw so many of you coming. And, uh, usually the first thing I say is volunteers when they come first day. We don't know each other but in a week, in 10 days, you're going to become the best friend. And really such a good friendships are coined here. You know, between people from so many countries. We believe something, we are very sincere, things will happen. We're gonna change the world.
They've been teaching us in schools that everything started with Sumerians 7,000 years ago. And then Babylon, Akkad, Assyria, Hittite, ancient Egypt, and ancient India. And of course, according to them, the oldest pyramids are in Egypt, 4,600 years. However, the truth is different. Number one, the oldest Egyptian pyramids are over 12,000 years old. They were not built by the pharaohs as we know them. The oldest Chinese pyramids, over 12,000 years. Oldest Mexican, over 12,000 years old. So with the pyramids, we actually change our history view, proving that before this evolutionary cycle, there was another cycle of humanity. And the Bosnian pyramids, according to the radiocarbon dating that we are discovering between the concrete blocks, are taking us back 29,000. 200 years, so almost 30,000 years back in a distant history. So, this is a huge change. Instead of the evolution in development of humanity, we have cycle after cycle after cycle. Before this one, there was another one, over 12,000 years back, before the end of the last age, and the global catastrophes. And another one, 18,000 years back, another one, 30,000 years back, when huge catastrophe wiped off more than 99% of the humans 55,000 years ago, 75,000 years ago. So we need to change everything. Egyptologists are claiming that Egyptian pyramids were built as tombs for pharaohs, but no scientific evidence. No mummies, no pharaohs, no tools, no organic materials, no paintings, no hieroglyphic writings. But in our case, we have developed set of 10 scientific criteria to prove that we indeed have pyramid complex in Bosnia. Number one is geometry. We can clearly see in reality and on topographic map that we have shape of the pyramids with four sides, triangle faces, corners, same slope, and those four sides meeting at apex. Number two, artificial construction material. Sun pyramid in Bosnia have concrete. Some people call it geopolymer concrete, some people call it synthetic concrete. It is better quality than what we have today. Our hardest concrete from 10 to 60 megapascals. Bosnian pyramid concrete, 73 to 134 megapascals in hardness. Element number three, the orientation of the sides. All Egyptian pyramids are looking north. All old Egyptian pyramids, north. Most of the Peruvian, all Cahokia, north, north, north. Always cosmic north. So far we thought that the Egyptian pyramid of the sun has the best orientation. Error from perfect north, zero degrees and two minutes. According to the Bosnian state of geodesy, the error from the cosmic north of the northern face of Bosnian pyramid of the sun is zero degrees zero minutes and 12 seconds. The next element, water, always very important. Nile in Egypt, rivers in Mexico, China. Here in Misoko, two major rivers and a lot of underground water flows. The next element, inner passageways. In Egyptian pyramids, we have passageways and chambers. And according to geophysical measurements, inside the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, we have seven levels of tunnels. They are laid out like a spiral. The next element, underground tunnels. Under Giza or Saqqara pyramids are tunnels, under Mexican or Chinese pyramids are tunnels, and under Bosnian pyramids is the largest, the most extensive prehistorical underground tunnel network. The next element, energy potent place. Location was very important. On the Bosnian pyramids, we have iron plate producing electromagnetic fields. We have 21 meters below the pyramid, underground water stream releases negative ions. 55 meters, another water stream between the two parallel water streams, electrical field is being generated. Then we have natural magnetism, then we have organ energy. In other words, pyramid act as the amplifier. The next element, the sacred geometry. Three main pyramids in Bosnia, sun, moon, and dragon, 
they form equilateral triangle. When we connect the tops between Sun and the Moon, 2,180 meters. Moon to Dragon, 2,180 meters. Dragon back to the Sun, 2,180 meters. Perfect geometrical shape. And as such, it is part of the sacred geometry. Next element, astronomical features. When we look at the shadow of the Bosnian Prima the Sun, which is triangular, it moves in the valley as the sun moves on horizon, just before the sunset. Now, in August, the shadow covers the moon pyramid completely. The top of the shadow touching the top of the moon pyramid. In a symbolical way, the message from the builder is the rule of the sun and the day is over and the rule of the moon and the night starts. And finally, the tenth element, volcanic lines. We have noticed with 75 sites in the world, pyramid sites and megalithic sites, that they were all built at the intersections of several volcanic lines. In a case, for example, of Cholula pyramid, in Mexico, we have 16 volcanic lines. Machu Picchu, 15 volcanic lines. Bosnian pyramid of the sun, 26 volcanic lines are coming here to the Bosnian Valley of the Pyramids. So when we put all these 10 elements together, what is the result? The result is pyramid as the energy machine. And this is the definition of the pyramids. They amplify existing energy sources. How does the pyramid work? It's very complex, energy machines. So we have underground energy resources. The pyramid has the power to pull this underground energy, even to pull the water. Now this energy, it moves, it flows through cavities, through underground tunnels. At this point, we are very busy clearing one level of underground tunnels. We have noticed that we have a huge labyrinth of tunnels, passageways, intersections, chambers, underground lakes. Probably they are running for tens of kilometers. So far, we cleared 1,950 meters. We notice that besides the original builders from 30,000 years ago, we also had another civilization who came in the area 5,000 years ago and closed, sealed off all the tunnels. Why? Because when energy flows to the tunnels, through the tunnels, it's going towards the sun pyramid, feeding the pyramid, and it is strong energy machine. However, when you stop the flow of the energy in the tunnels, the pyramid becomes very weak energy machine. But it is not only one level of underground tunnels. Two years ago, we discovered another level which we called Rame 2. And most probably there are three to seven levels of underground tunnels. So what we have so far, even though it's very, very impressive, we simply just scratch the surface of this huge discovery. Underground and above the ground. In 2005 and 2006, we started archaeological work and digging. But very soon we realized that archaeology is not enough to explain this site. Then we started applying in other scientific disciplines, geology, pedology, biology, paleontology, geophysical screening, geothermal analysis, satellite analysis. So it has become interdisciplinary scientific project. But still, that was not enough. We needed help and support from the experts in energy phenomena, physicists, electrical engineers, sound engineers. So we added an energy aspect 
And then also we notice that there is an influence of this energy, energy produced by the pyramids, to human body, to our energy field, to our aura. So we added this aspect, the spiritual aspect. Because when you improve your aura field, you improve your spiritual abilities, your spiritual senses. They are teaching us there are five physical and one spiritual sense, the sixth sense. In reality, the ancients knew that there were 30, 30, 30 spiritual senses. Telepathy, telekinesis, teleportation, seeing other people's aura, healing on energy level. So, we have archaeology, science, energy aspect, spirituality, healing aspect. You notice thousands of testimonies of people feeling better when they visit the tunnels and the pyramids. So we realized that we have this self-healing aspect. So in the future, this project will remain, number one, the most open archaeological project, and number two, interdisciplinary approach will remain from physical scientists, from spiritual scientists, and we welcome anyone to come to join us, to investigate with us, and to help us understand what we have here. I realize there are people, especially from cultural establishment, trying to keep the status quo, not to allow this project to continue, because it brings big changes. On the other hand, there are people who want us to continue, because it is not about archaeology, it's about the change of the global consciousness. So we're going to keep working because this is the way how the archaeology should be done not with the confidential information like they are telling us in egypt china peru or mexico we cannot get all the information but in our case people come they communicate to each other they share the knowledge between volunteers and workers and researchers and guests and tourists and media the knowledge belongs to all of us. It's a cultural heritage of the planet. Those who are telling us that there is nothing here, they should be aware that this, these pyramids have been here for tens of thousands of years. They will be here thousands of years after we are long gone. So we should use our short lifespan and try to learn from the ancient builders so we can improve our society. Egyptologists have been researching Egyptian pyramids for 200 years, and they still don't have major answers. Who really built them? When, how, and why? In Bosnia, we've been working for 12 years now, and we have had more answers than Egyptologists in 200 years. And still, we are at the beginning of our quest. For example, from the entrance to the tunnels to the pyramid is two and a half kilometers. With two kilometers cleared, but with a lot of circles, we shorten the way for 600 meters. If we continue this pace, it will take us another 30 years to get under the pyramid and discover the biggest secrets. Three years sounds long time, but in science, it is not about only getting to destination. It is about the journey and learning about the knowledge that ancients had. So even though we might not be around when we get there, maybe it will be next generation or the next one, it is about the first steps that we are doing today. And this is what the science is all about. The beauty of this project is that we don't know what we're going to find out next, what we're going to discover next. And that's why I'm so proud, especially on thousands of volunteers who come and join us and who become the part of discovery. Uncovering concrete blocks on the pyramid, sandstone terraces on the moon pyramid, new tunnels, artifacts, organic materials. And this is really the point. The knowledge belongs to us. Unfortunately, our science divided 
knowledge to hundreds of scientific disciplines, but there is only one knowledge, and we need to get to the source of the information. This project is unique. Usually, archaeological projects and discoveries are funded by the government, you have universities or museums. In our case, our non-profit foundation, named Archaeological Park Bosnian Pyramid of Sun Foundation, does not have any money from the budgets. Not from the municipality, regional government, federal government, state government, or even public companies like telecom or electrical utility companies. In this country, if you want to get funding, then you need to be on the side with one of the parties. But this is not a party project. This is something that belongs to humanity and the future generations. So we invite everyone to come and join us. This is the first, most important step. A lot of Italians coming. We have book in Italian language. But a lot of people from Western Europe from Asia, from Sing Singapore, Korea, Arab world, from Egypt, from America, from South America. Once they see, then they can decide how they can support the project, either by volunteering, promoting, doing lectures, doing uh, uh, donations. Everybody is welcome to help as they feel they should help.